Good eye, mates. I'm Flinty, and this week I'm replacing my colleague Julebard because he's gone on holiday to the Temple Kingdom. And so this week I'm gonna be looking at for you this album here by the Dutch band The Accelerators. As we can see here on the album sleeve, the album name, Fuel for the Fire, is donated here and the band name, The Accelerators, here at the top. Now, pip it throughout this review, hopefully I'm going to have a few very good facts for you about the band. Let's take a further look. So here we can see some waves, and here a lighthouse. And that indicates to me that it's time for fact one about the accelerators. Now as you can see on here, as I just explained, a wave. But did you know that none of the band members in the band, the accelerators, have ever actually waved their hand at anyone or anything? They're completely opposed to the notion of waving. So until this day, since the day they were born, not a single wave has gone by from them. So here, like I was saying, we have the lighthouse, the torrential storm written in artwork. Let's move on to the back sleeve. And as you'd expect, we have the track listings, which shows it says, Six tracks on either side, side A, side B. And this album was released in uh, 2012. It's starting to show its age, you could say. It was released on Shield Recordings, uh, Surfing Key Records, All in Vinyl. It was released on a plethora of different publishing outlets. Let's take a look inside to see what it shows us. The record, of course, and let's see if there's anything else. There's a very good insert, not a full LP sized insert, but a nice one nonetheless. Smaller than an LP, but bigger than a bookmark. Which brings me on to an interesting fact about the accelerators that you didn't even know. Now, did you know that each member of the Bane, the accelerators, has their very own official bookmark so that when they're reading their books and people see them across the street people know immediately this guy is a book fan this guy is a member of the accelerators because they have their official bookmark and it glows in the dark and flashes infrared around the edges uh, so here we have the the people who are in the band and the pictures of the people who are in the band and of course the band lyrics on the back for the songs. Let's take a look at the record inside. Oh, now would you take a look at that. This is a clear blue record with wisps of black colour. What an interesting looking design for a damn record. Look here, we can see this has the track listing on it and also the album name. Let's take a listen to it to see if it gives us some degree of fun from the inside out. Now I could describe this album to you, it's middle of the road pop punk rock music. It has a very bouncy bass sound I've noticed which I quite like, and also a kind of distinct drumming. There's places where you might expect drumming to go one way, but it goes another way. It's very interestingly done, and I'm pleased to hear that this album has brought joy into my flinty life. Uh, 
by which I might also say to you that I have another fact about the band that you didn't even know. Three. Now, did you know that every member of the band, the Accelerators, only live in cottages? They will only ever live in cottages and they were born in cottages. Cottage life is the life for an Accelerator. Would they live in a flat? No. Would they live in a ground story apartment building? No. Would they live in a normal house or a mansion? No way on earth. Would they live in a countryside cottage? Of course they would. They're the cottagey boys. They're the accelerators. So thanks very much for checking out my information on this 2012 album. I hope you go and check it out. Now you're probably wondering, is it worth checking out? It is worth checking out. It's a very good LP. I'm glad I bothered to check it out after all these years. Now all the best to you. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself in this post-Covid-17 outbreak routine period or whatever you decide to call it with your iron lungs and your Betty Boop voice. Have a good day, take care and don't forget to check out some of my facts at a later time and to come back next week to see what amazingly interesting video my colleague Julabard has for you. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button on the way out. Let's see if we can make it to 700 subscribers before we know it. And there might be a special free gift for the 700th subscriber, like maybe uh, a short poem. Something like that. Now that's something to look forward to. Now good day mates and I'll see you next time. so much for watching my very good video don't forget to subscribe to the very good channel and come back next week for another very good video a video to watch now it's a good video <laughs>